I came out this way sexually. It was nothing that was latent or yet to be developed. I came out screeching. I came out pirouetting and doing a couple of chenets. My parents just let me loose and I did anything I wanted to. I fleeted around with polythene um, plastic from the dry cleaners and pinned them to my jumper like fairy wings, Daphnis fairy wings, and go flying up the back garden. Nothing was said. I was just, oh, that's Leslie. I remember this little tiny black and white set and the TV was on BBC Two. It was the early 60s sometime. And I saw this amazing image of these figures in white with white tutus on the screen. When I saw that, I knew exactly what I wanted to be. I wanted to be her. I wanted to do that ballet. Oh, so my whole journey, my whole insight comes from the female perspective. Just go on my Instagram page. You hardly see anything there paying homage to men. What have they contributed but grief? First time happened quite late, I would imagine. You know, I was very clumsy and very nervous about that part of my sexuality. But if people came on to me, I would be very clumsy and I'd put a barrier up Im immediately. I, like many, was part of that seminal moment of the revelation of David Bowie on Top of the Pops. When you saw this person, this confident extraterrestrial being that was out of sync with everything else but made so much sense. It was David Bowie posters all around. No one ever had any other consequence, child. Lindsay Kemp was associated with David Bowie. He was the man that sort of helped David Bowie with movement, with, with his style. I came to London and heard that he was doing classes at this um, church hall in Earl's Court. Lindsay Kemp conducted a class that went on for five hours. And it made you sort of um, unafraid of that tactile, touching experience. And um, I found it really difficult initially, but he knew there was something there and he had a brilliant way of evoking the real true me out. Oh, it's horrible. I never experienced anything like it. Distracted, just mind elsewhere, couldn't focus, short of breath, I was hyperventilating. I go to the doctor. I went to the doctor. I said, doctor, I just can't breathe. So I had to blow into this machine. He says, your breath is all right. I went, but now I have to put down the shopping. It was like anxiety attacks. And um, I was talking to a group of girls I was choreographing at the time and working with, and they said, Yes, you were in love, that's love. I said, but that is how it manifests itself? They said, yes, I went, my God, you're right. So that realization, you know, it's just that I was lovesick <laughs> in the literal, literal term.